think we're live. Hi. Hello. Hi, everyone. Okay, you'll have to Where forgive we? us. <laughs> we're a little new to um, to, twitching. To twitching. I don't even know if that's the the term. Uh, to Twitch streaming. Hi. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Harlata Molin, obviously. Hello. The incredible. The one. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is um, Manon Gage, the one and only Marissa. <sighs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're very excited to play this. Um, we, this morning I was running around like a crazy person trying <laughs> to figure out how to stream anything on Twitch. I was at Best Buy having a panic attack looking for a capture card. So that's, that's just context. <laughs> yeah, I had another YouTube interview. Earlier on, yeah. so <laughs> so um, we also have our, our incredible producer um, Natalie Watson is going to be joining us for a bit in the chat, um, yeah. and I'm sure she'll be around to answer questions and stuff. Um, I think we'll probably start by playing for a bit, and then um, as questions come up, answer them, and then maybe do like a more Q and A like thing um, where we we can make our screen bigger. Um, in OBS. See, I know what I'm doing. Uh, later <laughs> No, but that was very... <laughs> I'm so impressed. Thank you so much. It's <laughs> oh, been yes. such a such a learning curve. Also, um, just want to shout out Isabel, who's our moderator for this stream, who's wonderful. Thank you so much for um, doing this for us. Um, okay. So I think we're going to start... I just want to make sure that, like, I can see if questions come up because this is quite small. Mm, we're just gonna, I guess, continually keep an eye on on the chat. Oh yeah, that works. Okay, okay. cool. Okay. All right. Um, Shall we? Let's. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> I'm gonna start this. Um, yeah. For context to Harleta and I, Harleta came over um, when the game came out and we started playing through, and do you want to tell them what happened? <laughs> we freaked out when I showed up. Yeah. We just jumped off the couch. We were so scared. So, so just for you to know that it's like even having worked on it, and we yeah. were looking for her scene specifically. There was one where we were going forward and back, and yeah. then she showed up, and we, I, li we I went, <laughs> and yeah. so we're not immune. No. <laughs> Um, okay. Where do, we start? Where do we start? Where do we start? You pick. Um, oh. We must... I always want to start with Minsky. Do it. Start with Minsky. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, I like the interrogation. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. By the way, there's going to be spoilers like crazy on this stream if that wasn't already. Just, I think yeah. you, her sitting Sorry. here is pretty clear that that's going to happen, but... <laughs> Um, okay. So we've played some of this already. Wow, it's so loud. Um, have you, have we seen this scene before? No, we didn't play it. Uh, yeah, I don't think we did. No. So we can just, and if people also want us to click on specific things. In 5B, take one. We can do that too. And this is Mushy. Harleta's incredible dog. Slash deer. Slash deer. <laughs> Maybe we should provide like commentary as this is going. Like yes. on like how Well, remember how we both wore the same outfit? And it was quite yes. hot. And sweaty. That is true. So we had to have like little pads put in to like soak up the sweat. Yeah, that was a that was not. I felt so terrible because um, <laughs> it was so hot on this day yeah. in this um, on this set, and yeah, I wore this dress and was sweating in it like crazy, and then and then Harleta had to wear because we had to. We know, wore the same clothes. Oftentimes. Yeah. Uh, and because some of them were, you know, vintage uh, or thrift finds where, you know, you could only yeah. get one version of it. Um, poor Harleta usually. It was okay. 
I feel I still feel all good. I feel so bad still that that's um I'm not wearing my glasses, so it's Yeah, do you wanna look at the Oh hey Mushy? No. Yes. Mushy says hi. You, you <laughs> went away. I'm seeing yeah, questions come up. Uh what's your favorite scene slash part of the game? Ooh. Well, I think my honestly, my favorite scene might be the one that we do together. Yeah, You're right. I love that scene. That's, That's so, so sweet of much. You to say. It was so lovely. Yeah, that yeah, that scene I love as well. Um, I love that it's in black and white, yeah. which I just ne I didn't know that they were gonna do that, no. and it it's really sweet. We didn't get to have a lot of scenes together, so. Um, when we finally did, it was it was really it was nice. Magical. It was really magical. Um, I don't know what my favorite part of the game or scene is. Um, I mean, I really love a lot of the Franny stuff. Um, I think the first time you meet Franny, like in the museum, that was just like I think the most fun to like play. Um, but I don't know. I'm trying to think if there's like so many scenes were so fun to shoot. Yeah, my scenes were maybe not so fun, <laughs> but rewarding. Yeah, they were. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. I do like the candy says. Um, yeah, she's incredible that was... in that. The candy says. I don't know where to look. I should be looking there. I guess. Yeah, I guess there. Hello. The computer's there. So. The, yeah. Um. Natalie's saying the way I cried when we sh we shot that scene. Yeah, <laughs> when we had that scene in the field. Yeah, Natalie was behind the monitor. We, we were all sniffling, bawling. Yeah, it was really sweet. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Feel free to ask Natalie questions in the chat as well. Um. Unless Natalie says to not do that. <laughs> um. Okay. I'm looking. I'm looking. Wow. I'm having to scroll back. We should really be keeping track of these um okay okay uh did sam give you advice on some movies to watch to get an idea of what he was trying to achieve yes um he sent me a very long list of of films yeah. um um we got to talk to the washington post a little bit and um they ended up uh publishing like the list of like the syllabus basically that yeah. sam sent which is like everything from like the devils for ambrosio to um bodyguard for the bodyguard for two of everything and like everything in between and a lot of like nicholas rogue and david lynch and stanley kubrick and um under her skin yeah which we weren't allowed to to talk about earlier on because it was like all the oh the no we, we can say that okay. now we can okay. say that now i think okay. but yeah the stuff that's more supernatural shall we say yeah because right. he po he just tweeted a um he just tweeted actually a list of the films that were that um that inspired the production okay so you well can, then we're good yeah you can check out his twitter yeah. and um beep boop 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 maybe i should you want to scroll and find mm -hmm. questions and i will just so that we're not I'm just trying trying to keep you entertained here <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out like what we're doing <laughs> i see uh um, well, no, where can we expect to see you next? Any movies or games? Um, uh, so, yeah, I actually um, shot, wrote and am producing and shot a, um, an independent pilot called Real Live Girl, which is a psychological thriller. And it's about a cam girl, amateur porn star on OnlyFans that accidentally meets the wife of her most twisted viewer. And then lots of bad things happen. Um, and I'm actually currently fundraising for that. I think there will be a link in the chat if you're interested in um, helping us out. Um, all donations to that fundraiser are actually tax deductible because we're working with this incredible arts nonprofit called the Satellite Collective um, and they're sponsoring us so yeah hopefully um that will be available the pilot will be available to all donors very soon and then our hope is that we're, we're going to submit it to festivals and 
um, get it hopefully shown somewhere yes. and then get it hopefully sold so that we can make the whole thing. Um, yeah. So yeah, more info there. More I'm sure it'll be in the chat. Good question here. Were, uh, were you able to see each other's scenes while you were shooting? And if so, did you use each other's performances to inform your own? Well, we, Manon would always go first and I would be there and watch all of her scenes so that we could match cut and not so much performance wise as in just the physicality of it. Mm -hmm. um, so I saw a lot of your glorious scenes. So sweet. Oh. I And it's sad because I didn't really get to see much of her scenes because usually I would shoot and then she would shoot, but I would be having to get ready for what we were shooting next because it was such a quick, um, yeah. it was such a quick shoot. Yeah. Hi, Mushy. And then often I was fairly scantily clad, also, so we had to close the set. So the set was so, closed. So, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was probably good that I wasn't allowed yeah. to, to watch that. Um, yeah. That was a fair part. Right, yeah. Oh, do we didn't scroll back in that scene? Did we get that scene? Oh, I'll do I that. I want to see what we... you your interrogation stuff. Yeah. Where's the other? Oh, thank you. Someone said likes the candy says scene. Thank you very much. It's a gorgeous scene. That was an intense, intense scene. That is such a beautiful song. It really is. She's incredible. I was I was crying watching that scene. Like. It's well. I mean, you're amazing. <laughs> like, it's really amazing to watch. I mean, as you can see, Harleta is nothing like the character she plays. Um, so it was always really funny on set to um, see her suddenly become this, you know, psycho. Yeah. Yeah. Aha! There. Oh. Yes. I walked home with that necklace. You did? Yes, I forgot to take Don't it off. Don't say that live. <laughs> Don't tell Carrie. No, I brought it back. Oh, you did? The next day. Oh, no, oh, I brought it back because you needed kept it. it for something else. This is pretty great. And this is one of my audition scenes as well. This was your own. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably going into. I should turn this up, probably. Are people saying yeah. that? Yeah, I feel I'll like people turn are it up. Okay. Did um, you get to keep the glorious wigs, by the way? I did not. Is that you a didn't. question from it is you a or from the chat? It's from the chat. <laughs> uh, no, I did not. No, no. I would have kept the Jane Fonda wig. The the. That was such a good wig. The Minsky one. Yeah. That's that a good one. Good. Thanks for looking at that. I can't yeah, see. I got. I got gotcha. you. Is this stream going to be uploaded? Available to watch afterwards? I think so. Yeah, right? I think, yeah, we're recording it. Yeah. So. I like that part about the, yeah. the guillotine part. About the best scene. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's pretty great. And there's another one. So she's so good. It's so odd how much sense this made to me. 
like in filming it while first reading the script I was like how I feel like it how do I make any sense of this and then you start digging to the character and all of a sudden you're like oh yeah this makes total sense yeah yeah I feel Did like you feel that's that? I mean, I didn't have to deal with as much of this making, you know, making sense of the supernatural stuff as right, you did. Right, right. So for me, I feel like it was more just tracking Marissa through time. Right, right. Through, like, where she was in her life and then also the script. Yeah. Of whatever movie was involved, but. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, did you collaborate in developing Marissa from the start and her changes over time or tackle her independently? Throughout production, Marissa, the one. Um, I don't think we collaborated that much. No, no. I think you just were very perceptive in in certain moments where she had to really be mimicking, like how I had sat or moved or spoken. And then I think actually the I think I mean I don't know I feel like because you inhabit all these different people. Yeah. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Um, but uh, um, I think the people that were affected by that, the characters, those actors kind of tried to tap into like yeah. the heart oh, yeah. to like. They had to be, they were in a different world. Sort of yeah. Like dream world. You can sense, I think, the shift in the different, ac- in the different yeah. actors, right. characters when, yeah. How did we come to be involved? Just auditioned. Just auditioned. <laughs> My supernatural roots, you know? Yeah. Finally came to use. Uh, I know. <laughs> Harleta's fans from the alien planet that she's from are very... Yes. They're so they're proud so of her. They're so supportive. <laughs> <laughs> they're so thrilled we, we don't have twitch on my planet no that's <laughs> why they, i'm slightly they've like, heard about your success they've heard about it they read newspapers they do, they do. oh that's yeah. amazing <laughs> she, she's from sweden <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> that's good like that um are you familiar with the video game medium or is it new for you it's very new for me i was not a gamer yeah. before mm-hmm. but it's fun and i'm trying to become become one yeah Ooh. oh is this Ooh, are we getting into the oo scene now? The oo scene. Oh, uh, I think it's... I think it's the next one. Ooh. Right? Because it's when she's sleeping. Yeah. Yeah, she's so really good. Fun. Look at that. She's amazing. So beautiful. Look at that milk. That just looks so poisoned. Mm-hmm. Uh, is immortality based on any real actress disappearance? No, but I think there's... um. Um, I think Sam was inspired by various stories of Hollywood stars and starlets. Yeah. I think Marilyn Monroe is kind of a yeah. an example of that. And people love the Candy Says scene. Thank you for doing the stream. Thank you for being here. Yes. Hi. Uh, we're just trying to keep track of these questions. How did you prepare for each role as Marissa? Which movie would you want to watch in full length? Uh, prepare for each role as Marissa. I mean, that was sort of a question of um, making sure I knew exactly where Marissa was at um, personally with every scene that she was shooting. So like Mm -hmm. both like how she feels about the director, the other actor, how good of an actor she is, whether the scene triggers something for her, um, you know, um, uh, personally. and then, and then, of course, just like looking at the role itself and then just trying my best to keep all of that in mind. Um, oh, the snake. The snake. Keep all of that in mind. Um, while we can also avoid nudity. Yeah, let's avoid nudity. Let's avoid nudity. But that darn snake. Oh. Do you want to tell the I'm snake ter- story? I'm terrified of snakes. <laughs> I mean terrified and we had um a rare type python but it had the right color uh, and i named her lisa i thought that might help things out a little bit for me emotionally um then my first encounter with lisa was that she <laughs> pooped all over the um the parking lot yes uh, and that was a good start to our relationship and then it turned out i had thought that 
you know, the handler is probably going to talk to me. It's not dangerous. It's, you know, nothing. And that wasn't the case. <laughs> it was more like, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. And then and Lisa was a little bit stressed out, as we all were. And she started nibbling on my arm as she was climbing up. And I didn't know if that was a um, thing that should happen or not. But uh, oh my, my handler jumped in. He was like, ah, stop it. And I was about to burst into tears. I was so terrified. That is, I'm so sorry oh you had to deal with that. I I have a snake story for this smaller snake. Yes. That is not as bad as that. <laughs> that. But so Did the, we name that one? I'm not as good of a person as you. I think I you. did, but I... That was the controller vibrating on ooh, the table. Ooh. So yeah. I didn't give the snake a name. Um, but I, and the snake's not as big, obviously, but the wrangler kind of said like, you can kind of do what you want with the snake. Just, you know, keep your, keep your hands open so that you don't, um, so that you don't, um, you know, hurt the snake. Mm -hmm. And the snake was like partially sedated. So it was? I, mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. I don't think Lisa was sedated. She was <laughs> crisp that day. Th this guy was sedated. This guy <laughs> was. This guy was cool. This guy okay. didn't poop on me or anything. But no, so I was hol holding him and trying to do what I was told. But then there was a scene I think where Sam was just like and just like improv with the snake a little bit at the end. So I was like, okay, cool. And I brought the snake very close to my face and was like, like it's Marissa and the snake. Big, big no no. And the <laughs> the wrangler was <laughs> Samuel <laughs> cut and the wrangler was like. Never do that again. And I was like, why? And he, and he came up to me and he was like, because if the snake gets co close to your face and smells your breath, it'll think you're lunch and it'll go for your face and it'll bite you. Yeah. Some might say I should have known not to bring a snake close to my face, but I would like to say that that was not a rule that was said to me. No, we so needed that in writing. I think that needed to be said outright. Don't. But it was all fine. Yeah. Don't bring your snake near your face or your privates. Yeah, and that was harder for your your scene, but we're not gonna we're not gonna play no, 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 that no, one because we're, we're gonna be we're gonna try to be respectful. <laughs> um, I don't know if we're allowed to answer that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know think either. I some think of these were not. Yeah, um, we might have to. Um, I'm also trying to see if. Natalie's answering some of these. What made you want to participate in this project? Do you have any fears or concerns before shooting? Holy cow, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like what? What like could what? you possibly like be afraid of? Like the 16 nudity writers <laughs> maybe I had to sign? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of did it for me. Otherwise, it was just really exciting. Yeah, yeah, definitely Whoa. the amount of sex and nudity at the beginning was like, whoa. Okay, yeah. but then you but then you read the script and you read the writer and everybody yeah. was so great and there was an intimacy uh, coordinator yeah. involved that it's sort of like ended up being honestly like fine. I mean, yeah, I felt we pretty... we were so comfortable with each other as well. Yeah, and and, and all the people working on the project that mm -hmm. it wasn't a it wasn't a big big deal. Big except, deal, you know. Have we ever hated our bodies more than? I mean, probably more than not. Then. <laughs> Never, but you know, you know, you you live and learn. It's more for me. It's 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 almost kind of the thing of like doing it was doing it was very vulnerable, but it was okay. It's more like now being like, oh, I did that, and that's forever now. Yeah, but not in a like. I not. I don't regret it. I just. It's just like, oh wow, that's a that's a choice. That I made. <laughs> I think it's a. I think it works. I think it's important for Marissa's storyline. It is. Line. It is. Uh, was there ever a weird sense of meta given the story being told, director and muse, and your relationship as actors with Sam? I mean, what? Sam's not. Sam's not like a um, a horrible, you know, tyrant of a director um, in the way that. Maybe we see some, you know, misogyny in, in Marissa's yeah. relationships with her directors. So, I mean, I think it was interesting, but it wasn't, there, there were no parallels in like a, no, like a bad no. way. <laughs> no, definitely not. Sam's great. Sam's wonderful. Sam's really great. Looks like I had a lot of fun. Harletta looks like she had a lot of fun. <laughs> was there any scene you found challenging? You look like everything was easy. Oh, oh my God. I had 
I had constant nightmares for three months solid when we shot this. Oh my god! Okay. So <laughs> nothing was easy, but I'm. That's sort of that's the acting part of it, and you go in for that, and then you try to find all the happiness and light on the side of that. But yeah, it was. And the nudity was incredibly challenging. The dancing was challenging. We were rehearsing so hard. I think we both have scars we do left both from have our scars. dancing experience on really hard floors and like gravel and whatnot. Yeah. So, um, no, that was, it was all quite a bit of a challenge. Yeah. I think there was one scene where I was like, I'm painting. Mm. Scene. Where you were like, oh, this is a nice I got break. to sit <laughs> with clothes on. And draw, and I was like, "Oh, this is so <laughs> this is nice!" Like, I made a, a draw, a real drawing, and then we ran out of time, so his legs got really short. At the oh end. my god! <laughs> but so yeah. great. Yeah. She would come. She would like finish shooting a scene, and I would be in my dressing room, and she would come up sometimes, and she'd just be like covered in blood in a bathrobe, yep. shaking and sobbing, and it's just like. Hey, yeah, another day on set, and then I'm going off to be like, yeah, location scouting in New York. <laughs> like, it's like a like completely different scene. Yep. Um. Oh, is this the? Is it you playing the, the mysterious dark-haired girl in the mirror? No. No. Do you mean in uh, Minsky? I think when we mm. when we're crying in the mirror in that little house, remember, in uh, Silver Lake. Yeah, no, it's um I don't even know what that is. Really. Yeah, it's not. It's not Manon. Okay. It's uh it's not anyone uh the <laughs> other cast members. That is a little bit of a mystery. Um you probably saw two people in that mirror. Actually four, you, me, and two others. What are you talking? <laughs> Which scene is this? I don't This even... is something that I've ha others have have asked about. It's one um Who's it over? Oh, okay. I have not seen. Uh, I don't think I've seen those scenes. Yeah. I don't think I've unlocked those scenes. There's like in the cave, and there's and right. There. I cannot no, answer that, that question. No, that is something for you to maybe we'll dig, find it. <laughs> dig deeper into and yes, <laughs> yes. And maybe we'll yeah, maybe we'll find it today. Yeah. Who knows? Um. What should what should we what should we what should we do? I feel like oh, there's so many snake. Oh, snake. This one's fun. That one is fun. <laughs> that house. That house was, that was crazy. <laughs> Terrific. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Do you think Oscars will nominate interactive movies in the future? Well, I hope so. I keep block. Yeah. Sorry, I keep blocking you when I go over there. Uh, Even seeing them side by side, I find hard to believe I was the same person as a kid. Yes. Yes. Most people do. I, the first time I came over to play with Manon, she had a couple of friends who had been playing the game solid that whole morning. And Manon came out, she was like, they're a little afraid, a little scared to meet you. And yeah. then I come in and it was like, <laughs> Yeah, they were very much, like they were sitting here playing the game and then Harleta walked through the door because she was going to come in and play after they left. And they had a moment of like, <laughs> like it was like, hi. <laughs> and, then, yeah. and then she's obviously... Being, you know wonderful and they and they think they 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 calm down but it, oh they did they, they were definitely calm down yes hi mushy yeah. hi mush were there any other intentional guiding towards discovering the reverse mechanic i'm gonna uh, let mm. natalie answer that yes how has marissa not aged you have to play the game to find out 20 easy Packing repeatedly, bag in front, bag in front of the mirror. Oh, that's the one. Oh, that's that one. one. Yes, that is me uh, in the black bob in Two of Everything. Thank you oh, yeah. so much. That's Thank beautiful. you all for your sweet comments. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm not wearing my glasses, so I'm having trouble seeing some of them. But thank you all for being here. Yeah. So much. Um, was it weird to break the fourth wall? I don't think I break the fourth wall so much do you, no I don't think you do I mean it, when I guess we're shooting and it's like I'm talking to Durek or something like right that one scene right right or things like that yeah you, I mean you're for you're me it wasn't it, it wasn't um, it wasn't strange actually it felt very natural um, yeah like one of the first plays I ever did 
when I was like a teenager, it was um, the lights were aimed directly at the audience, so you could see everything. So that became a thing of actually looking at audience members. And so this was kind of going back to going back to my roots. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there. It did feel a lot like theater. I'm gonna stop this when yeah. nudity starts happening. Um, yeah, yeah, it did feel a lot in. like theater because we were doing long takes and usually only doing, you know, three three takes per scene. Um, and it, you know, it's all set up in this kind of, um, you know, 60s, you know, 70s style that's a little more grandiose and stuff. So, um, doesn't this look amazing? It looks so this good. Scene, by the way. Yeah. Um, ambiguity of red and white combined. The roses are white and red. I think just like blood, they're bloodied, like on this dress. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah, she's the devil. Uh, beep, beep, boop. Was it hard to keep a straight face filming Ambrosio because it felt over the top? Oh, you. <laughs> Sometimes. But it's also fun when you're in it, you're just fully in it. Like yeah. you might feel corny after the fact, but you, you have to like, some of those lines in the script I remember reading and just being like, how am I gonna say this? Yeah. But it's just like, you just have, you just fully, yeah. fully commit. Yeah. I mean, you had stuff like that too. Maybe yeah. not Ambrosio, but. No. Oh, you're so good. You're so kind. That crown was highly uncomfortable. I almost killed uh, people wearing that, oh, really? that crown. Yeah, I would just turn dangerous. around. <laughs> And someone would be there, and uh, it would be, yeah, you can see that I'm trying very hard not to hurt um, Miles, who plays Robert Jones, uh, just trying to, like, let yeah. me not spike you now. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to get out of this before nudity starts happening. Yeah. Also, I, I, I'm aware, I don't know why that keeps popping up, the image grid thing. Um, oh, that's a good one. Our, our the interview? It's pretty good. You want to play this one? Sure. Yeah, let's play. Let's see. Um, Another one of the dresses that we uh, shared. I'm so sorry. No, <laughs> no, it was all good. Uh, was the tree scene filmed with actual traditional map paintings? It was. Uh, there was a map painting behind, and then there was a yeah. set that we were on, and then I guess the rest was done in post. And there was the tree. The tree was we there. We had the tree. Yeah, yeah. the tree was there. Because uh, I remember I had to dance around that tree. You did have to dance around that tree. That's and, an incredible and scene. And no one knew, had told me that there was going to be a tree there. <laughs> or that we were going to be and the elevated off the ground. <laughs> yeah. That scene where you... That, is that the one where you then start walking towards the camera and you're like right in... Yeah. That's, but there's uh, I think two. that's my favorite scene. I'm going to go back and say that that is my... Because when I saw that for the first time... Because I didn't see it on set. Yeah. But then watching it, it's like, oh, it's that scene. It's the matte painting. And then you dance and then you like and it's there's two so yeah cool. oh yeah because it's kind of indiana jones like you walk on it right like uh, some sort of pathway that isn't seen yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you know that um so cool. that uh that was interesting <laughs> uh, we had to s squash everything together on that little platform <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, but so beautiful. So beautiful. I, it turned out so, so incredible. So great. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, well worth the scars on your... I mean, I'm not... I can't say that, but I think it's worth the... <laughs> it was worth the scars. It was worth the scars. Um, doot, doot, doot. I am French. I am uh, half French. I grew up in... The U.S. and in the France. The Carson guy is great. The Carson guy yeah, is incredible. He is so I forgot that actor's yeah, name, but um, he was brilliant and yeah, such a sweet brilliant. Yeah. Was if Marissa wants to say, "fuck," then she can say "fuck." Really improvised? Uh, no, that wasn't improvised. Um, there's basically no improvisation in in this entire script because there couldn't be because no. it was all. It all had to match. It, yeah, exactly. Um, and yes, I did share a really great jacket with Hans Christopher. That jacket is so great. It is a good jacket. Unfortunately, he smoked most of the cigarettes before my scene, and they were 
a shortage of <laughs> herbal cigarettes in the city. So I think I was using his like leftover stuff. <laughs> you had to go. <laughs> she went through so much <laughs> filming this game. I just feel so, like. Like what? No, but I mean. But that's a lot. Sharing people's clothes and smoking. We're all in a COVID bubble anyway. Yeah, that's true. Uh, How many takes of every scene? Probably around three. Yeah. Did you get full scripts of each movie or only specific scenes? We got only specific scenes in that that's what we shot. But there were full uh, summaries of the plot of all three movies so that the scenes we weren't shooting, yeah. we still knew um, what they entailed. It was enough for the 400 page script yeah. as it was. <laughs> the song scene with Harleta was incredible. Thank Did you. Did it take a lot of takes? The song, uh, no. I think we did it in two takes and I was very grateful for that because it was emotionally uh, horrifying. <laughs> so. As you can see when so you yeah, only two takes. That's one. The only two takes. Yeah, it's two takes. So amazing. <sighs> I think they were like, okay, I, let's not, let's, let's not make her, let's not, let's not make her do it again. <laughs> it's so amazing, especially when the lyrics stop and you're just like swaying. If you oh. haven't unlocked this scene, it's really special. I know it's my thing. I am her. I'm her number. Aha! Oh, look there. Here she is. Wait. I just you think you did. Wow, you look great. Tss. Look uh -huh. at that. Celebrity. Uh, hints for hi hidden scenes. Um, I don't... I think you just... I don't know if I can give hints. Play around with your controller. See yeah. what happens. There's sometimes musical... Yeah, you'll, have, you'll get a sense maybe that there's something underneath the, the footage. We're kind of showing some of it here. Again, spoiler. Will I die because of this game? Is that, no, no, sorry. Will there, wait, oh no, I lost it. Will there be DLC of this game? Don't know what that means. DLC. Director long cut? Is that what that means? I don't know what that I means. Can look up. Please I look, can it look it up. Look up. Uh, what scene took the most takes? I know the answer to this for me. Opening the cocaine cross necklace. In Minsky, the, oh. the extreme close-up. That was maybe downloadable like, content. Downloadable content of this game? I don't know. I think that's I mean, a Natalie question. I think the scene that took the longest for me was actually the first scene, the audition scene. It was just to get mm. the, the props right. The to knife. Get, yeah, the knife wouldn't catch the light, so we had to redo it and redo it and redo it. Oh my god! Yeah, and that's a long scene. Yeah. So to just do yeah, yeah. That's a bit. Yeah. Um, are there any scenes that were shot but not in the game? No. no Everything we shot see. is in there. Um I can tell you I've seen quite a few grown up guys shiver when watching Harletta walk up to them full frame. <laughs> well, it's, it's good. How long was production? Three months? Yep. What scene took the most takes? Answered that. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. I keep losing it. Uh. No. Was it the window? Downloadable no. content. Thank you, everyone, for answering the question. Thank you. I'm Thank sorry you. that we <laughs> were like very new at this and scrolling up and down. Uh, um, okay. Was it painstakingly tough? People? Yeah, oh. the crew was incredible. Yeah, it, kudos to the whole crew and the amazing set department who just created magic and yeah, and wardrobe. I mean, we had the most amazing wardrobe um, costume designers, uh, Carrie and, and Sonia, that yeah. made everything look um, like that time. And yeah, everything was. They would call. What it was they said? That it was a hot set? Yeah, a hot, hot set, set, which meant that don't move anything. Don't touch anything. <laughs> don't touch anything. Um, yeah, no, the art department. The art department, mm -hmm. um, props, yes. costumes, everyone was incredible. And yes, had to keep track of everything. And yeah. it had to be period appropriate. And 
everybody was such a star and such an artist yeah and such a trooper every single every single person i'd really like to have full releases of each of the three movies is there any chance that could happen tell sam that because i want that too um I do have a producer credit. Uh, that's not because I really produced anything, um, but it was. I shouldn't even. I shouldn't say that. That's not true. I I, I, I contributed. I think uh, my opinion on certain scenes and stuff. Um, that was just in my contract. Oh my god. Oh hello. Uh, Netflix releases very soon. Uh, can't give a date quite yet. Would love to work with Sam again. Would you love to work with Sam again? I would again? love to work with Sam again. Yeah. I pitched a sequel to him on the last day of shooting. Excellent. Um, in New York. I was like, what if Marissa comes back and this time she's done like a Western and like a space <laughs> opera and like, I forget what the third one was. YouTube? And, I mean, and then, uh, Submarine was what I was gonna say. Oh, Submarine. submarine. <laughs> yeah, perfect. And he was like, no, like the, the story's <laughs> over. Um, it's, they can't find more movies that she was in. Um, so, but maybe something else. Yeah. Oh, of the, like to work with you again? Yeah, oh my God, yeah. Like but maybe it's not Marissa. maybe it's not um the world of marissa Marcel. it might not be no i feel like that would be hard yeah um every, any favorite minor characters love the warhol superstars yes um, they were great also all the the dps yeah that were really there for so such a long time yeah it didn't the get second that ACs much yeah the tail slates and and they were they were lovely they were really great they were so great yeah yeah nicole and rob on, on the yeah. third movie were yeah. uh, i mean every so everyone fun. um i feel like they get to have some fun some fun moments yeah they are, do yeah um i'd love to be able to pipe, buy posters i would love to be able to posters, buy posters yeah maybe i should get yeah the actor who played the other one was so unsettling at times. Does he ever smile in real life? He does. Yeah, he, he He's does. very sweet. Yeah. Timothy. Yeah, Timothy. He's yeah. wonderful. Uh, will this game be on PlayStation or Nintendo? I don't know. That don't is know. a Natalie question. Match cut. I don't know. Was it match cut system? Well, yeah. I mean, that... Yeah, the match cut thing came into play a lot because um, that would influence where we had to put specific props or hold them, as you heard Harleta say, like moving the knife in one of the scenes she's in. Yeah. So that it could catch the light, but also so that it can be click like clickable, yeah. I guess. And also in the like matching the way we came into scenes together, the way you were sitting or laying or I had to come into the exact same position mm -hmm. there's a very elaborate system of that like mm -hmm. remember you could see on the screen and then you could kind of position yourself in that same yeah spot. like an overlay you yeah would see the scene that had previously shot yeah yeah because yeah, yeah. you would have to like sit and match it yeah like move your finger like that 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 a little bit more a little bit more okay <laughs> all right we have to cut yeah um there is another question for you do you have any mm -hmm. acting background in sweden and what part of sweden are you from um, I don't have any acting background in Sweden at all because I um, kind of came out here as a teenager and slipped into a, a job and then went back and, and, and came back to the US. So no, I did a lot of ballet, a lot of dancing, but no acting. But that's something I would like to do. Act in Sweden? Yeah, I'd like to. Yeah, yeah. I would like to act in France. Because I, I have a little bit, but when I was like a teenager. I see, I yeah. Love, love to do that. Um, I know the basic idea of an intimacy coordinator, but what is it like working with one? It was great. Um, yeah. it's, a gr it's a great way for actors to feel uh, comfortable and taken care of on set. Obviously, it's very vulnerable to do those kinds of scenes and that nudity with you know people you're meeting for the first time. I think, the one, I think one of the first scenes I ever shot with Hans, who plays Durek, is the tomb sex scene. And so 
you can imagine that that's a very i mean we had rehearsed all um all intimacy scenes ahead of time obviously um but having someone on set who you know knows the choreography like the whole thing is choreographed um they're there to protect you if you feel unsafe um you know they're there to help you with like modesty garments yeah. and um a slew of other things um and it was nice because it, it it was almost to the point where um um like we got so comfortable that occasionally when our intimacy coordinator came in and like no we can't do that i can't do that we were like no, but it's okay. Yeah. But to have someone who is like overprotective of you in this situation was yes. fantastic. Yeah. Uh, yeah, really. Yeah. And made it also not so weird. You know, you're all yeah. feeling strange enough taking your clothes off and yeah. doing these things and have someone who's like, that was beautiful. That was yeah. just normal. That's like, why should we be so ashamed really yeah. of our bodies? And yeah. Um, yeah, and that was that was nice because it is very much a cultural thing, particularly yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And even to just have someone cheering us on and and yeah, I mean, she Jean would always be there, like you know, with a robe for us, with a, yeah. with a towel, with you know, um, yeah. and but yeah, then she wasn't gonna, they weren't gonna be like, no, you can't change it if something felt. Hans and I added a kiss in a scene. And I remember being like, we're going to get in trouble because Jean's going to be like, don't do this. But because we had sort of talked about it beforehand, it wasn't just like improv in the moment. It's like, OK, like both actors consent. You know, this is cool. Yeah. This is a discussion that's been had like for the story. Um, so it's only helpful in my yes. experience. Only helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ha, ha, ha. So many questions. So many questions. Thank you so much, you guys. We're trying to get to everything. Um, Netflix release will be on mobile only, so yeah. not like Bandersnatch um, in that regard. What? Any chance you can do an expression? Every time Harleta looked straight at me, I got chills. <laughs> Maybe we are watching the sequel Maybe. right now. Ooh. Marissa Space Opera. Wow, wow, we are so behind on these on these comments. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, the intensity of your stares is really stunning. Oh. I do speak French fluently. Maybe I'll speak French in a little bit. Yes. What should. if Marissa comes back as a, as a Twitch streamer? <laughs> I would she love has. that. I have. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Sophia was one of the parts in Ambrosia that had me laughing. Yeah. Yasha, who plays Sophia, is, is, is really lovely. Yasha's fantastic. Just so, so lovely. And so talented. Yes. Incredible to see yeah. her stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Accent and, mm -hmm. and just uh, transformation. Uh, we have how different would you say it was working with someone like Sam, who is not a movie guy, natively a movie guy, and somehow delivered something that seems more packed and tight than many productions, TV or movie, lately. It feels like there's no loose string in the end product. I mean, yeah, I mean, he's he's incredible. I, I don't know. I feel like this was my first real film job, so I can't really yeah. compare it to other sets, but... I mean, I, it, it was my first, like, big part on a film. Um, but I think the thing with Sam is he, he knows this project so, so well that he, like what he must have had going on in his brain the whole time that we weren't aware of, like when it came to match cuts and all this, like he, he had such a clear view of, of what he wanted from the project, which was really nice and it kind of made it, I don't know, seamless. Kind of yeah, thing. I think there was, I always felt like I completely trusted that it was all in Sam's yeah, brain. Yeah, And in Natalie's brain. In Natalie's brain, And so many, yes. yeah. Um, and then that we tried to there. get it out of their brains occasionally. <laughs> yeah, like, can we give us a hint? Give us something. <laughs> um, the, someone asked whether we were scared, if any of the scenes scared us. I think when Ty, when something switches with Carl's character, which yeah. I assume people know what that means, Ty was unnerving in moments where it was like, ooh. 
Um, yeah. I'm just, I won't watch one of those scenes. Let's watch those Let's scenes. Watch those scenes. Let's there find... he is. There he that, is. Well, that, yeah, look at this. Oh, my God. Then I say that in the yeah, smile he's the just whole time. Yeah, there. Um, yeah, we haven't... I haven't unlocked... Why don't we just, like... This was the first scene um, I shot with Ty. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. This was his first day. Um, with the wig. With the wigs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Mano, what was your process for Marissa? Did you keep the perspective of being... I'm not going to say that because it's a spoiler in my... Mm. Yeah, I kept the supernatural stuff in mind. And then the process, as I said, was like both trying to keep Marissa in mind and the character I was, Marissa's playing. Any chance Harleta could do an expression <laughs> of the one on the stream? I mean, if you want to get close to the camera and do something crazy. Maybe we'll end with that. Okay. And we'll say the great war for old time's sake. <laughs> She'll get, well, I'll make her do that at the end. Stare at it for 30 minutes. Okay. Uh, Did they film you at all for the what happened to Marissa Marcel scene? Or was it a dummy? Oh, the, the burning? That was me. Yeah. That was me and then special effects. Yeah. And and also a dummy. All mixed together. Oh, okay. Hi, Sophie Maxine Carmen wanted a shout out. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks. I wish I could. Oh my god! <laughs> I just hit the mic. We're fine. <laughs> Sorry, give me a Thanks everyone for bearing with us. This is mushy. This is mushy, yes. Would you let your family close friends play the game? My friends have played it. My family, I think, is sitting this one out for reasons. Yes. Oh, was that the... This one? I had to do the tomb scene twice. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. That was, a, that was an interesting day. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I think <laughs> Do you want to talk about that more? Um, <laughs> I think I actually did it three different ways. The tomb scene? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. That was it was interesting looking at the shoot schedule for that day and go like, all right, on the tomb, on the tomb and, uh, on, and on the, the tomb. tomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's one I have a really hard time watching. Well, we won't watching. we won't play that one. No. Um, it is not me singing two of us, um, the pop version. It is me, which it is me singing it, uh, live the yeah. couple times I do. I was standing in the back watching things that you missed. You're so sweet. Mm -hmm. you, you sounded great. Did your Pilates yoga background help you in this role? Uh, well, uh, yes, it was a very physical role and, uh, my ballet training helped right. me a lot but it was it uh it was a lot of a lot of physicality and it did help and should i tell them if they want to go play pilates with you yeah oh yeah if do you, you guys want to you want to get ripped with harletta because she <laughs> teaches pilates and she I has an that. online it'll be in the chat yeah it'll be in the chat i i have um i teach pilates and i have an online like a little on demand thing uh, where I have a bunch of different videos and you can come along and uh, and do Pilates with me and you don't need any props or anything you can have soup cans if you want to and she sometimes does it from Sweden yes and so then you get to see Sweden yes and get rid I've done it a couple times with her and it's hard but it's really it's really good, <laughs> you're so good. and she's very kind about like you can put your head down if your the abs <laughs> situation is not sometimes hard. like my my vicious the one person comes out when i'm doing something really and i'm like ah. you're gonna scare them all away <laughs> they're like oh no <laughs> not in up. the videos not in the videos <laughs> only when i teach live in real sometimes life. So if anyone's in Los Angeles <laughs> and wants to be scared by Harleta in a live Pilates class, uh, send her a DM on Instagram. Yeah, yeah let me know. <laughs> uh, did you know the full story uh, and end to the game from the start? Were there things you were surprised by? We did know the full story. Yeah. yeah. Surprised by, I mean, the whole thing I think is surprising. Yeah. Um, um, but all ties together. 
I'm trying to be snappy with these. Are you? Is... The actor Ty has such a lovely smile. Yes. Oh, Ty is he lovely. He does have a lovely smile. He's an angel. Yeah. Um. Going up, going up. Yeah, all of the black and white scenes from that moment are creepy. What the heck is up with the black and white scene? The bites. I don't. Okay. I think that's for Natalie to maybe yeah. decide whether or not. Uh, yeah. Love the idea of Mendel and Hans live workshopping a scene like that. Very Dirk and Marissa. Oh yeah. 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 I feel like art imitated life a lot of the time. You know, with just how we. Um, I we talked about this the other day, like. Um, how we would talk about scenes and stuff and yeah as you said kind of the meta thing like the thing on top of the thing on top of the thing and it was just really actually uh hans had to not be on set for part of ambrosio so i was using doug potts our our dp as an eyeline when i was looking you know marissa's supposed to be like flirting with them Durek. so i was doing that with doug and uh i don't think he would mind me saying this like uh Doug at one point was just like, it's very weird when you do that. And then I just have to remember, oh, yeah, she's acting. <laughs> like, because he's not an actor, obviously. He's like, because he's just like, you know, on the thing and being like, why is she like looking at me? Because um, I needed a stand in. Okay. Um, was the fire scene practical effects or CGI? Uh, both. Yeah. It, but it worked out. It worked out so well. Yes. With the way everything fell apart it looks incredible yeah. i remember watching that that was our last day in la was watching the dummy get yeah set on fire and that was pretty cool such an ending i know this is just like flames in the parking lot yep <laughs> uh how hard has it been how has it been watching streamers play it it's so fun please keep streaming it it's so fun to yeah. watch people yeah. freak out when they see harletta for the first time and just go goo goo gaga over you it's I lovely. Think, it's really lovely. The only thing that. is like sometimes, you know, because it is so long and they'll end up coming back to a scene. It's like, oh, it's her again. And then you're like, I know, I know, yeah. <laughs> but I there's it so hard. <laughs> yeah, there's been moments where there have been people who like will play it for half an hour, 45 minutes, and then they'll just be like, oh, th- wh- this again? And then they yeah. turn it off. And, yeah. y- you know, so it's not hard, for everyone. But... Uh, it's, it's not the two of you, but the whole cast had at least one scene to shine and deliver a really great moment in terms of acting. Congratulations, go to the whole cast. Completely agree, yeah. perfect casting. Everyone yep. in this is incredible. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think Sam and Natalie really know how to cast yeah. the right people for the right roles. Yeah, and then let them let them do their thing. Yes. Trust the casting and... Uh, Universally, uh, one of the was about places. Swap places. Oh, we should swap places in the. No, if you if you play it. Oh, if you play it in reverse. Backwards, then we'll swap we places. should figure out how to do that. And I'll jump off behind the couch. You should do that. <laughs> what was the very first scene for the project? The audition stuff. The audition stuff. We shot yeah. this basically in chronological order. Yeah. Uh, thank you, everyone, for all your sweet comments. This is so. Yeah. So lovely. Um. Were there to- were the times of day on the clapperboards accurate to real life or previously set? Everything was previously sl- set. Yeah. Um, ooh, I just lost it. I oh, know. Here we go. Mm, a lot of important. In there. Are there any interesting notes about the order this game's film were shot? Was it pretty straightforward? Was there interesting jumping around? We shot the three movies chronologically. Yeah. Um. I don't know how to answer that question better than that. <laughs> uh, Natalie, how involved were you in the writing process? I feel like Natalie was pretty involved. Yeah. I Natalie mean, she is knew the magic sauce behind. She knew everything. Yeah. Like inside and out. Um, and she was also our moral support yeah. and just our biggest fan. <sighs> yeah. Our queen. Our, our queen angel. angel. Our icon. She needs to make ginormous to, oh yeah. video games and movies and movies and all other things <sighs> she's so great yeah hi natalie <laughs> hi natalie <laughs> hello um who was the funniest co-star and who was always serious deep in character 
I don't know. For me, Timothy was really fun. Timothy was pretty funny. Yeah. The other one. The other one. Which, is that surprising? Which, yes. I... And who was always serious? Was there anyone who was always serious? I don't know if anyone was. I think people took it. People were serious when we were shooting. Yeah. But it was very lighthearted, I think. Yeah. Was anyone serious? I don't know. What? I think um, I was kind of serious sometimes. Serious. Yeah, I think maybe we sometimes were. Sometimes I was like, don't talk to me. Like, I need to. Not in a, like, not in like a method acting kind of way, but just in a like, don't joke with me because I need to, you know, yeah. get in the zone. Yeah. But you're as, actually, you're kind of the opposite of that, I feel like, because sometimes <laughs> you would be like, oh my God, talking about like what we Charles. had for lunch or something and then just be like, ugh. I surprised myself a little bit with that actually, but I think it's just the way you work with such a huge project and the character becomes such a big part of you that once the camera turns on, you're you're there, even though you were talking about the yeah. glorious pasta. Right, lunch. right. Yeah, you're just it's in your system. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty amazing to watch. And with the set and everything being so fantastic, costumes, everything, uh, you find yourself in that role really fast. Yeah. 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 A uh, technical question about how did we achieve the look of the three time periods? Vintage cameras, film stock, or digital filters. It was all shot digitally, and then all of that is incredible uh, work from the art department, props, cinematography, costume. yeah, camera unit, uh, costume, yeah. and, um, you know, post overlays and, yeah. and things like that. And anyone who we are forgetting that was involved. That, yeah. So many, so many. Uh, this was a collaboration very much so in yeah. every way. Um, okay. The TV. Do you have a favorite film of uh, Minsky? Um, I was asked this question this morning um, and he was like, I know my name is Minsky. For me, it's, it's hard to tell because it's almost like I was making my own movie. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. A lot of things I just do in a black void or on my own and a lot of things I didn't know where they were actually going to end up in what movie but I have to say I actually enjoyed shooting the last one the two of everything mm. uh, maybe it was just a lot of a lot of interesting scenes that then got put into other projects or other other of the movies were shot during that time mm -hmm. but yeah it's like I'm just I was basically just there, hanging out on my own. She was doing her one-woman show the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah, Two of Everything has so much of it all coming together, yeah, too. Yeah. So, uh, Someone here says, are you two trained dancers, or did you have to learn the choreography on the spot? I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart <laughs> for this question, because <laughs> I am not a dancer at all, and I struggle. You were so good to learn so basic pop choreography from the incredible uh, Natsuki, who was our yeah, choreographer. Yeah. She is uh, a trained dancer, and I think you can tell in those beautiful, I don't beautiful know. sequences. I don't know. Yes, I danced a lot of ballet, and then we had a we had a choreographer that was very, very good and and intense, and we spent many hours with her. She's amazing. She's really amazing. She does like K-pop stars choreography and yeah. like Grimes yeah. and like. And then she came to the set and she was like, who are you? <laughs> like, yeah. She wasn't like that, but it was like, what is this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, question for Harleta. Since you had to spend a lot of time in scenes alone as the one, was there anything special that the team or you needed to do in order to connect with the material? No. Uh, I think... I, 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 I was so connected to the material and... Uh, and the, the scenes are so powerful in themselves that, and also it, it, me just talking to the camera, it's sort of apropos, it's, it's very much what my character does. She wonders, she, she is alone, she is very alone. And so that actually helped me in, in being very alone during the, the shoot. It's just like, it's just like the one. <sighs> How mm -hmm. philosophical. It's beautiful. It is. It is philosophical. It is oh, philosophical. I love this scene. I love oh. Ty looking so sad. Um, people are shouting out Amelia Gray, who's one of the three amazing writers on this. Uh, the other are the others are Alan Scott and Barry Gifford. Which 
yeah. we're very lucky to have all three of those people writing those scripts. They are uh, incredible. Um, was there an aspect to the production that was making it clear it was something different? I think we sort of answered this, like the, yeah. the video game side of things. It was really just about placing things, honestly, so that we, so that the mechanic of the game would work. I mean, unless there's anything you want to add. No, really, just like the, the props and the and the getting mm -hmm. into the same positions and yeah and and things that you usually wouldn't consider important but became super important. Mm -hmm. Where a plant or an apple or something had to be in the right position. Yeah. So. Uh, someone said the first scene I discovered the one was the two OE one with Marissa and Amy in the bar with the blood from the head. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> that's an incredible way to see that for the first time. <laughs> that's when we actually got to share a wig. We did. Yeah, <laughs> Not I just have such short hair. I can't have. <laughs> I know they're like mine is like stuffed and then. Yes. <laughs> Um, thank you everyone again. Like these are such sweet comments. Yeah. We're trying to, um, uh, <gasps> Sam wrote Ambrosio totally by himself. Natalie, I did not know that. I thought that that was, wow. wow. Okay. Well, that's incredible. Did not know that. I know Sam obviously co-wrote, co-wrote all three films, but. Harlotta, did you ever imagine those moments in your mind of the other one's history, either in preparing for the character or while acting on set? Definitely while while acting on set. Um, yeah. Which other role or roles would you have liked playing? Hmm. To make it interesting, also consider male roles. Okay. <laughs> I mean... Ty is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool. Ty's role. a pretty cool character. Carl yeah. Greenwood's character. Yeah, and I mean Jocelyn's mm. um, Amy, mm -hmm. but uh, she just has that. She's just right for it. So yeah, I mean everyone's perfect uh, yeah. for their part, so it's hard to say. But Couldn't. honestly, like I think we should just swap. I would want yes, to try to do what you fun. did, and I would want you to do what I yes. did. Yeah, that, that would be. Good. Because then also we'd get the full Marissa Marcel, yes. the one yes. experience. Yep. Like, like so it would is all... that what we're doing next then? Yes. What we're doing the... Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Um, are you willing to take part in more video games? Uh, willing and able and available and would yes. love to. <laughs> yes, I actually, I'm auditioning for another video game uh, tomorrow. That's exciting. Yes. I'm a celestial being. Typecasting. <laughs> That's really exciting. I hope I, you get that. I, yeah. Um, I also get the two of everything songs stuck in my head. Oh, yes. And we danced to that song. So we listened so to it much. for hours and hours and hours. And then you come home and you're like, two of us. Should know better. Yeah. <laughs> and that's when you also <laughs> sing that to us during she dancing she was like when we I didn't know. have the music yeah yeah because there was a time when we didn't have the music too. yeah yeah so she would sing it to us <laughs> so fun uh, uh ambrosia was based on a novel yes yeah. the monk by yeah. N M G lewis some of you are answering these questions for us this Thank is great you. uh I love that Natalie's so on top of these. Manuel, have you played Telling Lies? Yes. Yeah, there is a cam girl in there too. Uh, like oh, my yeah. project, No Relation. That was something I worked on and uh, wrote before, uh, um, before Immortality, but shot after Immortality. Um, <laughs> yeah, good yeah. luck on that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody's so sweet. Everybody's so nice. Uh, were a lot of, was there a lot of rehearsal for the rehearsal scenes? We didn't really have a lot of rehearsal no. outside of the um, nudity. the nudity stuff. And oh, then... oh, look, it's a Swedish person. Hey, son. Hey, son. <laughs> wow, that's really cool. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard you speak Swedish before. No? Well, probably in bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. <laughs> I do it to Mushy. <laughs> oh! 
what's the name of the game audition? She can't tell you that. No. She'll get in trouble. Where else can I find your guys' work? Both incredibly captivating performers. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're Mac backwards. Um, as I said earlier, I'm working on a, a pilot that um, there will be some info in the chat and a series yeah. um, and currently fundraising for that um, and as hopefully producer. a lot more in the future. And hopefully a lot more in the future. Yeah. And then, yeah, I mean, yeah. maybe she'll get this uh, video game job. <laughs> There's certainly I don't demand. Think it, it won't look for look like me though. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, is it like mocap? Yeah. 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 Um, okay. My music oh gosh, where is it? My music mixing friend said said this song was made in nineteen ninety nine. Like just guessing. So the song nailed oh, that. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's, that's it was incredible. very like Britney Spears kind mm -hmm. of. Yeah. I mean a little more. it was supposed to be, I think, like sort of a mix of that and I mean, yeah, it's kind yeah, of like just right, that 90s. Right? Yeah, yeah. Do you have a definitive opinion on the subtext of the plot? Has it been created with a single idea in mind or has an open, ooh, has an, uh, as an open thing for everyone to project their thoughts? I think it's open to yeah. interpretation. Yeah. And there are, there are, I've seen many um, interpretations and they're all really beautiful. Um, so good luck. Oh, thank you. I think you don't need any. Oh, everybody is so sweet. Thank yeah, you so thank much. you so much. This, this is means so a lot. We are we are insecure actors. We <laughs> <laughs> we, we need this. <laughs> we need you. We need you. We, we need, need you. <laughs> uh, no, but it's really it is. It's really sweet because it's like it's so um, amazing to watch people play the game. Um, but it's even it's even better, I think, to yeah, just interact. Um, yeah live with you guys and um natalie all the awards for you too did you <laughs> yes. find a particular scene in two of us attempted assault difficult it was hard to watch the revenge scene was equally hard to watch yeah the, the, yeah. the scenes in two of everything are uh very intense and yeah i mean those scenes are hard um yeah. oh, boo -boo. my arm was hurting for like a week after i the, with had the one of the assault scenes yeah, yeah. I really went for it. Yeah. And you can, I mean, yeah, you can tell it's like such a <laughs> like visceral moment. Yeah. But yeah. But that is a gruesome movie. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. It's very intense. Yeah. How did you end up in this game? Did you know Barlow's work before? Um, I just auditioned. Um, and uh, did I know Sam's work? I didn't really because I wasn't a gamer, but then I immediately, um, you know, played her story in Telling Lies and got very excited. And what were the, were the second ADs and other on-screen crew actors or part of the crew? Actors. Actors, yeah, very much so. Any pranks or games between cast members on set? Pranks or games, do we have any pranks or games? I don't think games? so. No, I don't think so. Um, I love that we said we weren't, we weren't serious and then it's like, but there were no pranks and there were no games. Well, it was so tightly packed, everything. There wasn't yeah. a lot of time for, for, for that. Yeah. But I mean, I think we all had a really good time together. Just, just, ha just hanging just out. Just doing, yeah, just shooting it, honestly. Yeah. yeah there wasn't yeah. a lot of time for pranking and stuff. I mean, men in women's clothing, that was quite fun. But did people do that as a prank or was it? No, it wasn't a prank. It yeah. was just some people looked really good. Yeah, people, yeah, that's true. Like Timothy looks Timothy really looks good. Timothy looks so good in all of the, the yeah, all of Amy's, Jocelyn's yeah. wardrobe. Yeah, beautiful. Um, oh, and that dress, is that the Marilyn Monroe that's dress? That's the Marilyn Monroe dress, yeah. yeah. Um, that was incredible. Yeah. Shout out to Carrie and Sonia, yes. costume yes. department who made that and All stuck each stone individually. on individually. Individually, yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a scene where Harletta remembers her character's assault, and it's on a level of violence unseen since Twin Peaks Firewalk with me, powerful and painful. Yeah, that's the scene. The uh, that's rapes. the one where you're screaming. Yeah, that was. Yeah, so... that was so intense yeah, to watch was... for me when I watched it recently and. She's incredible in it. It was it was really intense to make, actually, um, and one of those that I was a little nervous yeah. before because there wasn't a lot of instructions to it. 
Um, but I, as we were filming it, it just all made sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We had used our, um, our German sound engineer <gasps> yes. he actually got to do some of the voiceovers there yes yeah um dennis, dennis our incredible sound guy yes. got to shout some lines yeah in, in profanity is in german yeah that's an intense scene it's a very it's a astonishing one for harlotta's performance um press the left trigger button on the film grid menu to skip that message keep coming up thank you oh. left trigger button on the film grid okay i'll try that um <laughs> question for natalie so i'm gonna let the natalie questions uh get answered in the chat what was the audition scene audition process like oh natalie also sobbed uh, uh watching that scene get be shot which i understand if i had it's been a there years. i would have been sobbing too yeah yeah and your performance, which is incredible. Oh, I think we might be having, having some technical difficulties. Oh no, we're still live. Okay. What was the audition process like? Hmm. Did you get actual scenes? Yes, we did get actual scenes from um, from the movie. I actually got Manuel's scenes <laughs> sent to me by accident. This is a funny story. So yeah. So I'd been working on these 10 pages of <laughs> dialogue and I'd seen my character description. It didn't quite gel with with this character, but I was like, oh, I guess I'll do it. And then we started and the casting director was like, I think, I, what's, what pages do you have? I was like, these, those are the wrong ones. So then I got new ones and I auditioned again the next day after with, uh, with and those made sense for yeah. me. <laughs> for I me. can't believe it. And she booked it and obviously it was, <laughs> the best you know person for the job is <laughs> despite having you know 20 minutes to learn on you <laughs> it was okay it worked out for the best in the end it did I think, yeah got some some insight into the character yeah that's you true know? actually that probably mm-hmm. yeah yeah um i loved how the dress and amy's last outfit were reminiscent of the mocap suit and the theme of the big spoilers the dress, the yeah, mm-hmm. I can't really say more than yes to yeah, that. Yeah, no. How were you directed? Was there room for interpretation, or was it strictly, uh, strictly scripted? It was strictly scripted, but definitely room for interpretation. Um, in terms of just what our characters did, and yeah, but it had to be very extremely like scripted. Mm-hmm. Um, like we couldn't say one single word wrong really because yeah. it was so I mean it, and it's also like the grading is the the writing is so is so good that if you have ever tried to write on your own you're like ah oh, you're dealing with this one word forever you know because like, it makes the whole difference and then you as an actor it doesn't have the same importance but every word had such importance to Natalie and, and mm-hmm. Sam and of course and a lot of other people. Mm-hmm. Oh, they a salt scene. This is a salt scene. Do you should we watch this or not? We can go. Oh well, there you we are. Can, oh yeah. No, yes. We can watch. You're. I mean, you're incredible in this scene. No. If I can, if I'm able to. I sc- I did scare. Mike. Mike. A little bit. Mike plays uh, Terry slash Andrew. Andrew Hessenberg. Yeah. This is, see, this is hard to actually get it to. This is so all over the place. Yeah. Like how we're doing this. So yeah. thank you for bearing. Yes, thank you very much. Us. We'll do more streams. We'll do more. Here we go. Oh, I heard it. And he's so good for the character. Why won't it start? I don't know. Yeah, he really nailed the yeah, he did. sleazy thing. But, you know, in, in real life, obviously very good to work with, yes. which you want yes. for something like this. Yeah. 
Oh, that self-tanner. <laughs> Was that makeup? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, some of them. <laughs> That's it. I got to keep that top. Am I yes. Wrong? Am I wrong? No. In my dresser. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> As we speak. The nineties. The nineties stuff. stuff. But there's a ten million. I know. I wanted to keep the the seventies stuff, but it was yeah. all vintage yeah. and uh, rented. Yeah. I mean, and the sixties stuff. Oh. Yeah. Can't find it. Why doesn't it start playing? I don't know. Does anyone have any idea? You, you might want to use the arrow button instead of the rounded button. Okay. One second. Let me play it for a second. What does a ten million dollar knife look like? We have to find it. Yeah. Okay. Now it's shaking. I'm so, we're so, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you're doing it because I'm even worse. You're not bad. You're doing great. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there, there we go. Hello. This scene is incredible. No. It's nice to get to be angry. You can't. Yeah. Okay. We can skip You're making a mess out of your own dress. Mm. Let's get you out of that thing. You're so Come out. Strong. Come out. I'm going to wait out here all my life. It's my birthday. Yeah, this is where my arm started hurting a lot. Oh my god. Were they spraying blood on you oh as no. you did it? It just came up from um, I was obviously not beating him. I was beating a oh. thing next to him, right? but really right next to his face, which was covered in blood. Mm -hmm. So then that It was just spraying on the, yeah, yeah, wow. Look yeah. at that. That's a little scary. You are going to have to do that at the end as you have been requested to do. I <laughs> am. That stare. Am. Yes. Uh, so, uh, guys, give us suggestions of what uh, Harleta should say when she gets really close to the camera at the end and she does <laughs> the one. Um, oh, no. I have to scroll up again because there's so many comments. Oh. Uh, Please uh, talk about the wigs. The wigs. Uh, I mean, so many wigs. So many wigs. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I think they really speak to the, to the different, like, eras. Yeah. Um, the Minsky one especially, I think, is like, you know, this, like, Jane Fonda, Clute kind of thing. Um, yeah. And uh, the two of everything, I think, you know, the kitschy kind of David Lynch, early 2000s thing is sort of yeah. there, you know. So... And then the extensions, I think, in Ambrosio are more, you know, just... So many hours. So many hair. hours of... And sitting in the, in yes. the chair. Yeah. For me, not not many hours. Just no. like half a tube of, like, <laughs> goop cement and then brush it back and then you stay like that for days. Go. Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't come out. No, it took me, like, 20 minutes in the shower just oh to get God. it to start moving. One time she didn't take the blood off her face, like, after a scene like this, and then drove home... And then took Mushy for a walk. With blood all over her <laughs> face. And I was like, someone's going to see you while they're driving. And they're going to crash. Because they're going to... It was like a bullet. I was so tired. It was, it was so just like, oh, It was That's really work. funny. My neighbors find me interesting. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> oh. uh, Sam is a great director. He really yeah. kind of like gives you everything you need. And then he's very hands off. So it feels kind of like... That also feels like theater. Like you're... Yeah. Um, yeah, like performing on yeah, stage is kind of really what does. I felt like. Um, is it weird seeing scenes of yourself? Yeah, but I feel like we've seen enough now that I feel like 
You, yeah, yeah. You I mean, you always scrutinize yourself. Yeah. Uh, and, and, but we're getting used to it. Yeah, we okay. are. Um, do 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 do. Thanks for the uh, the technical advice, everyone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, lots of questions for Natalie, yeah. which I love. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Uh, what was in your hair? Someone's asking. Yeah, what was in for your those, hair? Uh, well, it was actually called cement. Was it actually? It <laughs> like was. So there was two different kinds we had. We went through many, many, many tubes. <laughs> it started with some sort of... I know, we had to spray it down. And then there was... Yeah, it's literally called hair cement. Wow. And then instead of just pouring it, Phil, our hair... Hair... Um, designer wonderful mm -hmm. hair designer he would just stand there and go <laughs> <laughs> and then it was very cold he would keep no i thought he kept it in the refrigerator because it was so cold so everyone really? was like am i getting my cold cold hair gel on again and then he was just like <laughs> <laughs> yeah you look incredible. and then it got stuck like that yeah you could like it was like a I, we would touch it sometimes and it was just like a, it a also helmet bro it also broke off if anything came here yes. and you started doing this so my hair was uh slightly broken <laughs> oh no yeah we did there was a lot of hair stuff where there was there was damage because it just happens you're yeah. you're putting it up it's... all the time you're you're dying it yeah. you're putting it yeah i love that we've paused on i know i know right we should now. play something else um i don't know well, i haven't seen you you killing amy there oh yeah let's play that. that i'm oh oh, oh i didn't didn't remember that. See, so great. Nicole is so great. Yeah. Strange sight on the rooftop in the pool, a rising trio of bodies. Saw Manuel was gifted the virgin portrait in another str uh, stream. Was there anything else that anyone got to keep? I kept the cocaine uh, necklace. Yeah. And um, my roommate found it and was like, are you okay? <laughs> Do we need to talk? And I was like, no. It's a because there was still like vitamin um, D, like crushed or yes, B crushed yes. in there. And... I got to keep my <laughs> crown of thorns. You did? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I That's have it very at home. Intense. It's uh, <laughs> and, and whoever made it, it's from a very serious company. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it still has some blood on it. That was another one I went walking with my dog after having wearing worn that. the crown of thorns. No, but I had blood. <laughs> I had blood no. dripping from the crown of thorns. And then I went walking with sheep. Wow. Yeah. This dog has been, he's has seen it all and is not interested in what we're no. doing whatsoever. Um, how old are you is something that you should say. You should say, I'm a part of you now. I see you. Oh. You should say, you are next. I am a part of Twitch now. I'm a part of Twitch. People say that it's that. nice to see you being a normal human. Yes. I yes. think that's sweet. I am. Ooh, what did I just do? Ooh. I clicked something. Um, need both of you in a David Lynch-like game. We are in a David Lynch-like game. It's we, called Immortality, and yeah. we're streaming it right now. <laughs> uh, something like Deadly Premonition, for example. Don't know what that is. We'll Ooh. definitely play that. Would love to. Would love to be in something else. Deadly like those. Yes. Uh, I so wish for filmmaking of and bloopers. I hope that that will come out. I don't know if there's a plan for that. I know that there are bloopers. Yeah. There's one where you can't get the, the, the thing off the crown of thorns. Oh my God. Yeah, the crown and of thorns like... was really, it was a real crown of thorns and it was quite painful and it required um, you poor thing. all this stuff it's on just, top this is that just got stuck <laughs> this whole stream is just like how harlotta was tortured <laughs> but <laughs> that, I, it was all it was all in the name of art yes and it came out beautifully beautifully and beautifully. you were you were tortured as well i would i would say making i don't know if making this was torture but it was 
it's just so demanding on the body, the mind, and the, the soul. Yeah. You know, everybody's yeah. exhausted by the end of it. Um, so, yeah, we we put in you know the blood and the sweat and the tears, but it was also like incredible and yeah. so much fun. Oh yeah, I mean, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't have missed any of it. Yeah, me neither. Okay, maybe the snake. <laughs> maybe Lisa. Maybe enough. the pooping maybe, Lisa. Maybe Lisa. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, here comes the speak of the devil. Here comes the little snake. Uh, someone says it's nice to see Harletta being a normal human on this stream. Yes, I agree. End the stream with the Sorry two of you staring at us for one hour. <laughs> I mean, I think it's nice because then people know you're not, you know, in real life. Yeah, you're yeah. not okay. yeah. a supernatural being. No. I mean, she is in like the sense that she's incredible. Oh, but is Ooh, she? There's a ghost's name. Am. Is she a supernatural? Am being? I supernatural? What are your Halloween plans? Any costumes in mind? I don't know. We, we, no. I kind of wanted to be Sailor Moon. Um, and then I kind of also maybe wanted to be Galadriel. Um, oh, yes. But that would, that would that be fun? Yeah. What do you want to be? I don't know. I generally go for Scary Viking stuff. or vampire. Oh, Viking. Yeah, that's good. You, you're Swedish uh, yes. ancestry. Vampire. I mean, yeah, vampires. That's on brand. I do love. I do love a good vampire. Ghost nice. is also fun. Ghost when you is just good. paint your whole body like white yeah. and gray, and then yeah, something along those lines. Should we go with Marissa and the one? I mean, I don't know what we would wear. There's so many different costumes. You can wear your I also green feel top. My, my green top that I got to keep, yeah. Um, tell us what we should be for Halloween. <laughs> yes, we would love some more ideas. Prequel movie, I would love that. Yes. Oh my God, people want to recreate your look, so it's good that you said it was the cement. Yes. I can't remember the brand of it now. Mm, some of the scenes were a bit male gazy. Did you feel that on set sometimes? That's a really good question. Um, I think that that's sort of built into the game is that there there's just it it's a commentary on misogyny in Hollywood um so it's kind of that thing where it's like how do you show that without contributing to that and it's a fine line but I think that Sam and Natalie and everyone involved sort of for me were always kind of on the right side of that yeah. line where yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's 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 intentional in, in many scenes that you do feel uncomfortable with maybe the level of nudity or sex right. or whatever, or it's like, or why is Marissa behaving in a certain way? Why does she feel that she needs to do this? Or is it empowering to her in this moment? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think uh, it was a discussion I had with our intimacy coordinator, actually, because um, she had wondered as well about all the nudity and, and talked to Sam about it. And instead of it being sort of a gratuitous, oh, let's sell something with a bunch of nudity, mm -hmm. for him it was actually, it, it will be harder to put this out with this level of um, yeah. nudity and gore. But it also is so indicative of, of the system uh, that I think it really gets the point across. Mm -hmm. And also with our experience of filming it, with that not being the case at all, where everybody was so respectful and um, mm -hmm. yeah I mean we we did not experience that at all it's mm -hmm. very much portrayed yeah and and that is unfortunately uh, that's something that happens a lot mm -hmm. so but then I get to eat them at the end yeah so it's so all good, good because Harlotta you know? gets to have I get to our take, revenge yeah, for everyone yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's good. <laughs> yeah. So she got her catharsis. And I generally don't get to do that on set. I thought you were just saying in real life. I don't in to... real life. I don't get to do that in real life either. <laughs> but, um... Oh, look what we ended up on. I know. Wow. Ooh, that <laughs> string of... I never noticed that before. Ooh. Ooh, good the work, blood. Good alley makeup department. Ooh. Wow. Just hanging there. Um... Was there anything in filming process for you as actors that reminded or highlighted to you that this was a game? I think uh, the relationship to the audience and to the camera, be knowing that people would be clicking things and looking for things and looking yeah. for like a gaze over here or over yeah. there, um, that kind of the interactivity of it, I think. Yeah, like looking straight in the camera. 
friend of mine are gonna do a dual cosplay Ambrosio. <gasps> You're gonna do a cosplay Ambrosio and and Mary. If you have to do that, and you please I want to see tag it. us. I want to see um, it. Yes. I think our Instagram uh, info is being uh, posted, um, and uh, yeah. Twitter as well for myself. Please, if you do Halloween costumes of uh, immortality, that'll make Send my it. life. Yes. Manon, can you swim? Ha <laughs> I was a competitive swimmer. Yes. In high school. Um, so yes. Um, was the final scene for Heather hard to shoot? Yeah, because Heather is uh, such a sweetheart, and that's such an awful way for her to go. Um, but, you know, the pool we shot in was really warm. That's and, good. And uh, it was like 2 a.m. when we shot that, though, so I was pretty, pretty tired. But, um, yeah, I mean, I would say nothing is... Uh, are you guys going to kill me that I, I still haven't figured out how to get left? Okay. They're not going to kill you. Promised. Because I can't figure that out. We have to read this afterwards and write down all the instructions. Yes. Right? I think so. Oh. Ooh. <sighs> that was a This hard is scene another sad. Shoot. Yeah. yeah. This is sad. Yeah. So tragic. Mm hmm. Um. I feel the one staring into my soul right now. What are you doing when I'm I, not looking at I you? <laughs> yeah. Um, Fisher and Durek are such Goes creeps. Goza Gozorian for Halota possess Dana Barrett from Manon. Don't Barrett. know who those people are. No, Gozer is that from Ghostbusters. Oh, oh, oh. The one oh. that's like a dog or oh, something, right? Oh, I am the gatekeeper. Perfect. I am the gatekeeper. Perfect. Perfect. Love, love that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Go Fisher and Durek are such creeps, but it's fun to realize they have no idea who or what they're actually dealing with. Completely yes. agree with that. Yes. Uh. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, I can't. Okay. Da, 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 da. Gozer is the one that comes through the gate and turns into the Marshmallow Man. Oh, the marshmallow man! Mm. Lack of blinking. Yeah, that was it. That was an impressive, an impressive yes. feat. Yes. I can't do that. There no. was another scene where there was supposed to be. Yeah, with who was it? Who wasn't supposed Hans. to blink? Hans. And Actually, Ty. there were two scenes, but both one with Hans and Ty, and one with just Hans, and one of them, the two of them, were standing next to me. But and they're... first they were gonna stare, mm -hmm. and it ended up being closed eyes because they were all just like. Whee! Yeah, I can't, I can't keep my do eyes that. open for I, that long. No. I, don't, I don't think I... And I was just, you know, monologuing as Yeah, as you're usual. just going and going. And, yeah. <laughs> I think they started so... crying. <laughs> yeah. My tears started going down. Yeah, oh, there. Yeah. Right. But then this, to me, is not as sad, obviously, as the first scene where you see Carl and you realize that it's... that something's happened. Um, yeah. That one, I think, is the one that gives me the creeps more than... Which one is that? Where is that? It's like uh, Marissa filming Durek speaking, and then Carl comes in and he's like, I'm excited to do this movie with you, oh, Marissa. And it's right. like, uh-oh. Yeah. Something's wrong. <laughs> Were there clapperboards? Ooh, that we don't see... Or did you just use the clapperboards that we did see? There were there was a real yeah, clapperboard. Double, double, double clapperboards. <laughs> double clapperboard. Rocket Man Mustard is an impressive feat. You can push the round controller jump to the beginning or end. Thank you. We, I will try. Rocking that mustache. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there was an interesting facial hair going on. I think it actually comes off and then it's stuck to my shoulder. Oh yeah. In that, I don't know if that's the take that was used, but um, yeah. Well, they decided very late on that I was gonna have a mustache as well, and I couldn't use yours. You couldn't use mine? No. I don't know why, maybe the glue doesn't work, but they had to go off and find a mustache for me, which oh I know God. delayed shooting by like an hour or something. Oh my God. Like that. that's just waiting for your mustache. <laughs> that's. Wow. Where the one can do that. I love the Show business. Went, 
Thank you for yes. I love the scene, the audition scene as well. When I get to humiliate Fisher after oh. what he's done to you and so to to us to Sophia, yeah, as well. Yeah, that's a good feeling. Yeah, you really got to. I feel like I got to um, experience so much catharsis through what you could, what you good. did. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, it was very hot on this set as well. Oh yes. Oh, is that the one? Oh, this is the one. Oh, but he's... This is the one of what? Where Hans weren't allowed to blink. Oh! Well, he... Yeah, but we had to change it. When it comes into... Mm-hmm. My words. Yeah. <laughs> We're being so sneaky. Uh, okay. Is the other one meant to be wearing a silver screen? Oh, that's a great what is it? question. Um, what do you see there? The silver screen. Oh. Like a like a movie screen. Oh. That's kind of an amazing uh, take. Um, I don't know if that was intentional. Like the dress. Silver screen. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it was intentional. Or actually, I can't, I can't say because I think we didn't even know that it was going to be in black and white mm -hmm. to begin with. Okay, I didn't know that it was going to be in black and white, um, but it definitely has that otherworldly second skin to it. Yeah, yeah, that was. Yeah, but you see the gold though. You see it yeah. when it's gold yeah. in color. Yeah, I'm thinking of. That's actually my favorite scene. Wow, now I'm thinking through everything. Yeah. The scene in the church where oh. Sophia comes forward and she's bloodied and holding up the cross and Ambrosio's giving the speech. And yeah. then you and then you go to the supernatural version and it's just Harlata like slowly coming in the back and then coming down with Sophia and with you on the floor and then the, the switch. Yeah. I yeah. mean that's I mean it, it was so crowded as well. We were like Yeah, that was under. <laughs> Yeah, we were like hiding and then but but yeah, no, that, that scene funny. is so powerful. Yeah, and um, Yasha is a chicken. Yasha job. is incredible in that scene. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh. Ooh, it's making noise. Oh, this is yeah. This is where should I go back? We go. I I'd never. I'm not even seeing it. Mm. That's such an interesting place to have a. <gasps> yeah, this is it. Ooh. I haven't seen this. We decided that he was going to be dead, slightly dead, almost, almost dead. You see? Oh Kudos my the God! I mean, yeah, right. I that's my first time seeing that. Yeah. Yikes! Yikes! Oh, look at that shot. Yeah. Fisher. Mm. There we go. Wait, I want to click on Yasha. Yeah. Yasha's eye. Yeah. The last time we came to someone else's eye, we didn't come to. Like, it was not your. Whose Who's eye did we go to before? We clicked on Hans's eye and came to Yasha. Yeah. But did you mean that there was another scene with an eye that... No, I was just thinking you would come to Yasha again. Yeah. I can find Yasha again in the grid. This was the last day we shot. Yeah. I also love the location scouting outfits. I wish I got to keep some of them. 
I'm loving all these theories and things like when I realized why Marissa was mad at Carl and his acting, I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. It's really fun to watch people figure that out, that out and be like, wait a minute. Like, yeah. She really liked him. What's going I on? The, I love the toilet sex scene. Both versions were incredible. With the door bouncing and the happy incident. No, that, that was scripted. And yeah. We had to work oh, to yeah. bang it and swing it. Yeah. I think there was someone, there was a crew member yeah. behind yeah. making it. Yeah. Again, kudos to the set who just made those toilets look for us. Yeah, yeah, that was that had to be built so that also yeah. uh, the the camera was behind a um, the camera was behind like a pane of like glass so that you could shoot into um, like double sided. Yeah, you know, so that you could shoot into the stall and see the mirror, but then not see. Doug and Sam behind the yep. camera and Natalie yeah, that behind was, the camera. That was, that was pretty cool. Difficult. Yeah. What do you want me to click on? I don't know. There was something that came up there. I heard... Yeah, oh, well, too late. Oh, look! Oh, that. Oh, this is fun. It's the 90s. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Early 2000s. Oh, oh, Gorgeous shots in Ambrosio. Yes, agreed. Ambrosio probably, I think, like looks the most stunning. Um, yeah. And yes, incredible mood. Ambrosio was really fun to shoot as well. Mm. Oh my god. Thank you, Anima AT, for your very sweet comment. That's very, very yes. sweet. Yes. I don't think I'm part of that. <laughs> no, oh my God, stop. That was stunning. Thank you. Marissa directing and calling for another take by the pool was one of my light bulb moments. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can hear. Yep, I understand that. Was there certain scenes locked behind progression markers? Oh, that's for Natalie. Mm. Oh, light bulb moment. The dream of the 90s is alive in two of everything. It's so true. It's alive and well. The scene was a light bulb moment as I was trying to piece things together. Just seeing Marissa and John flip the page and sink. Yeah. Lots mm -hmm. of people have caught that. Did you take a souvenir? I got to keep some clothes and, and the painting of um, your the Virgin Mary. Mary. And the cross. And the cross. Yeah. And then you got to... The, the crown. <laughs> crown of thorns. I'm gonna grab some water. Do you want to do, do it? it? Do you want okay. some water? I think there's water. Do right you guys want some water? <laughs> do you guys? Would you like some water? Mm -hmm. So, I know this one is. Ooh, it's one of the it's sparkling water. Sparkling water. Ooh. I was so tired when we filmed this scene. Is this a table read? The this one. Oh, the, this one. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'll be right back. So it's just me now. <laughs> oh, God. Good okay. luck, everyone. <laughs> oh. Leaving you with the, the water. Leaving the... Oh, oh, damn it. Okay. I feel like it has to start vroom, vrooming. Yeah, this scene. If I can find myself. Was shot at the end of a very, very long day. And... <laughs> yeah, I think I need to take a the video game course, something. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, thank you. Someone thought I was pretty. <laughs> Get a glass of water and tip it on my head, please. It's in the water. Oh, that's funny. Yes. <laughs> yes, it ends with getting a glass of water. Is that a pumpkin lamp on the sofa? It is not a pumpkin lamp. It is an actual pumpkin. 
An actual pumpkin. Oh, oh. There, I think something. No? My milk come back before I bore everybody out of their minds with my non existent <laughs> game playing skills. <laughs> I give this to you as a token of my love and affection. Oh, thank you. I accept it. What should we click on? Oh, no. Let's find maybe your drowning scene. I haven't seen that. Okay. Or is that too hard? No, 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 no. Okay. Let's try. I don't. I think we got to find it. Ooh. This is a, that little house. The cat. Because basically what's happened is I've played this with friends and I've deleted everything to play it with other friends so that they wouldn't, so that they would be able to discover everything themselves. So I don't think I have the drowning scene unlocked. Okay. Yet. I got to keep that entire uh, outfit, which was fun. Very cozy pants. Cozy pants. <laughs> Hydration check. Is that a pumpkin lamp on the sofa? No, no it's, it's not on the sofa. Pumpkin. It's behind and it's a pumpkin. It's just a pumpkin. pumpkin wear. <laughs> Happy spooky season. <laughs> uh, glass Was the wine. cat a good actor? I don't... I didn't meet the cat, actually. The cat... The cat... Um, Yeah. The cat needed a lot of rehearsal. But then of the rehearsal. cat. But then the cat did its job. Excellent. <laughs> thank you. Someone said I was. Oh, thank you very much. I was a great streamer. Aww. Aww. <laughs> How long did filming take? Three months. Yeah. Yeah, and we were on set every day. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. it was like mid. Well, I guess if you if you're counting rehearsals, three months. If you're not counting rehearsals. Wait, no. July, no, still, August, it, September. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we were there the whole time. Um, oh, since Clava spoke French in the scene, will Manon speak Swedish on stream? Sure. Will you speak Swedish? Yeah, I mean, if he, I, it, yeah. Hey, jag heter Manon. Oh my god. Say it again. Hey. Hey. Jag. Jag. Heter. Heter. Manon. Manon. Hey, voilà! Jag. Heter. Manon. Yes! Yay! Yeah, her French is beautiful. I don't know. Um, thank you, everybody, for staying on for for so long, for hanging out with us, for asking great questions, and and for bearing with us because this is, you know, this as we said, like our first yes. <laughs> real. It was an ange, as someone had already. Aww. Hey, Manon. You got, you got a message in Swedish. Hey. Hey. <laughs> 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 Someone's watching at 2 a.m. Oh, that is so kind. Yes. Amy Ma AT, thank you. Oh, good night. Tomorrow. Good night from Italy. Good night. I mean, good, good night, night to you in Italy. Um, yeah. Oh, Natalie's being the best. 2 a.m. in France. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Bonne nuit. Vous allez vous coucher, j'espère, après ça. Um... Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, we, I mean, we've been going for two hours now. Um, wow. Do you want to stay on for another? How long do you want to stay on? I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. Um, should we do another, like, ten minutes? Should we, we do, do longer? Nibor to England. Oh, sweet. 9 a.m. in Japan. Oh, my gosh. Blue Gamer. Thank you for being with us from Japan. Yes, yes. Wow, 5 p.m. in LA, yeah. <laughs> We're in LA too. Yes. 9 p.m. in Brazil. Work desk almost 10 a.m. in Australia. Wow, this is lovely. <laughs> you guys are so great. Yeah, I think we'll probably wrap it up in a, yeah. in a few minutes. Um, it's been a while. I feel like my ability to read that without my glasses, play this. And my ability think. to play is apparently is, is non-existent <laughs> not so true. i can read but yes <laughs> um so we'll probably wrap it up but thank you so much for for um being here with us for all your kind words and yeah. we'll probably stream again yeah. um na next time natalie will be joining us in in person Yay. we think so that will be great um and she's more of an expert on this so yes 
Tucson, Austria. Aw. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you guys had fun. Yeah. We, uh, we had so much yeah, fun. Yeah, we've had, had a fun. great time. <laughs> it's really it's great. so nice. <laughs> yeah, this is really wonderful. We, we will do it again. Um, yeah. And thanks for bearing with us as we didn't really play the game and mostly just tried to find the questions. Yes. Yes. Um, oh, maybe Jose could do the one impression before the yeah, game. Yeah, 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 yes. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What would you like me to see? What, what should I, I say? I think you're supposed to say, I, uh, you have to say, I'm a part of you now. Oh. And then you also have to say, I'm a part of Twitch now. Mm. And then someone said something like, how old are you? <laughs> How old are you? Am I supposed to say that? Hold yeah. on. Give me a second. I am a part of you now. I am a part of Twitch stream. Look at that. Like that? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> she just turns that on like it's nothing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh so my there. god, I know, I have chills. Wow, and the game just started playing this. Oh, there, I didn't even, this is... I didn't even touch anything, or I touched the thing. Wow, that... See, this is where I think that there's almost something where the game does haunt... Yes, it's haunting us. in real life as well. Yeah. I had a friend say that to me, actually, where she was like, do you think that just by, like, making something like this, where the whole point of it was that, it like, it haunts you, that you almost kind of, like will it into being and i have to say there's a lot of elements of this game where i feel like i have been haunted in real life yes uh by yes. It. not in a bad way always but sometimes in a bad way but um there we are like there it is should we just end on that note let's end so on that note. note what yeah. a what a <laughs> crazy note to end on um yeah the game thank is you. watching you yeah all right everyone thank you so much we should look there Thank you That's, so much. Thank you so much for, for bearing with us. And uh, we yes. really appreciate everybody uh, playing the game. And, uh, and your feedback has been amazing. Yes, thank you. So. Join us next time. Yes. We will post about it. Yeah. And have a lovely night. Bye. Bye.